is why I left competitive dance. That was definitely a more complicated story than I expected. Life's a crazy journey, you know? We're just all pebbles in the wind. My dad's teacher taught me that one. She was a strange person. So what's your story? I'd prefer not to say. I like to live in the now. Regan actually means today's truth. I try and live by that. Hmm. I like that. You were Rebecca's roommate in college. I was, I was. So, in college, did you and Becca ever phase the Avron ensemble? I'm sorry? You know, did you ever row together? What? Because Liam says Becca likes rowing. Right. So, just warm her over with your charm, and then... And then... Have sex. I, if I knew how to woo somebody, I wouldn't be in this situation. You slept with me. That was an accident. I mean, I wasn't trying to sleep with you. That's not what you're trying to do. I mean, we got to know each other. There was a build-up. Okay, we'll try alone. Your beauty is like the rainfall in Vancouver. There's over a thousand millimeters of it annually. I'm funny. <laughs> you think I'm funny? Yeah, I do. I do. Mm -hmm. I think you're adorable and I love you. So then just be yourself. And don't. One more. No one. Okay. okay. That's good. Okay. And then I dated Michelle. And then she moved away and joined the Bolivian army. Which in hindsight probably was a lie. I don't know. I was 16 at the time. It didn't really occur to me. Now that you think about it, yeah, he, he was lying. <laughs> oh man, women. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Hmm. Oh, Becca was saying you like both Hemingway and Sylvia Plath. You mean that I'm bisexual? Ah. Uh, no, I was thinking more American novelists, but also that, uh, that's, that's great. Uh, di diversity is great. Uh, education and diversity are, are cornerstones to modern society. Oh, hey, you two! Look, it's the bride and groom! How's it going? Can I get you guys some, uh, sit, 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 sit. <laughs> Can I get you uh, a beverage at all? Some brooch, a cocktail? Mm. Oh, I gotta get this. Oh, God, you seriously just saved me. <laughs> hi. Uh, hi. Hi. <laughs> You're Regan. Regan, yes, we've met before. Uh, funny story about Liam uh, he can tie an entire chair stand in his mouth. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, um, and if I had a cherry with me now, I would tie it so good. I think you found yourself a winner. Oh, don't you think he's handsome? He's pretty cute. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I've, um, I'm not just good looks, I've, I've got qualities. Really? Yeah, good looks and a nice belt. Sounds like a winner. <laughs> but you ladies shouldn't be talking like that when I'm right here. I'm not some piece of meat. A funny story, Liam has a huge heart. Oh god, okay, uh, sorry. Uh, I'm just gonna go get some paper towel to clean that up, and maybe while I'm at it, I'll grab some beers. Body shots. Beers. I'm having kind of a weird night. Me too. <laughs> so, uh, Becca said that you guys were roommates in college. Yeah, we had some pretty crazy times. You probably heard all about it though. Well, I heard about the time when you guys did your whole dorm floor in tinfoil. It sounds like a crazy party. <laughs> <laughs> we switched our RA's chair with a cardboard and tinfoil doppelganger. 
Of course, for the rest of the year, we had some disciplinary duties, but oh, it was totally worth it. That guy was an ass. Yeah, it sounds like a total tool. Oh, yeah. He's one of those guys that just had to be right about everything all the time. It's like, no, Star Wars has nothing to do with the Russian Revolution. Go away! Having fun? Oh, no, I was just telling him about that. Oh, no, no, no. I think it's good. I think you guys should get to know each other a bit better, you know? I mean, you haven't really had the opportunity to be acquainted. Becca was telling me how close you guys were in college and we were thinking that we should see some more of you. Uh, okay, um, this is an unusual question, but you know, I mean, we were close in college and, and you were always down for a good time and I feel like you're a very trustworthy person, and, and you're very attractive. Uh, if you're not interested, then that's fine. Oh yeah, yeah totally. Um, but see, the thing is, we're trying to have a new experience, because I think that broadening your horizons is better than not broadening them. Uh, okay, marriage is a big commitment, and we want to get everything out of our system. Now, and I was thinking that you would be the best person. Right. And Kevin and I have had lots of experience, and Liam. I'm in. Very sure. Definitely. Really, really. Well, okay. Oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. Me neither. So, when were you thinking? Uh, sooner better. How about now? Now? Well, okay. Meet you upstairs in 10 minutes. Great! Great. Okay. No video games. No more being nice. If you speak for the next 10 minutes or do anything at all to make this worse, I promise you, I will erase all your saved games. Delete! all your achievements and destroy everything that's ever given your life meaning, got me? You can't erase achievements. <laughs> Try me. Everything that you ever... Evan! Hi! Hi, Liz. Olivia. Yeah. Give all your concerts to the neighbors next door. Looks like you managed to get the cake out of your hair. Which, both is good. Cake in, cake out. I'll take it. Not your hair. Just... Joke. Oh, that's fine. Did you know? I'm good on lakes. Noted. Not lakes, though. Uh, I have a younger brother. Really? He's 20. Though. So that's kind of different. It's the same in spirit. Um, thinking about the wedding and how we have to do our own speeches, we should probably think of doing something funny, something YouTubeable, something to get people excited. Okay. YouTubeable? You know, something that'd be cool to put on YouTube. I understand the concept. I don't think that's a word. Like a rap. A rap? Yeah, like we rap our speeches. Like a rap battle? Like BJ? BJ? Beyonce, Jay Z, BJ? No one calls them that. Yeah, it's like Brangelina. Mm. Or we could choreograph a funny dance for our dance. Our dance? Oh, you know, I don't think we need to dance together. Don't we have a dance together? That's the bride and the groom. Yeah, I know that, but there are other mandatory dances, right? Oh, you're thinking of the bride and the father of the bride. Oh, I guess it's not mandatory then. But we should still do it anyway, make it a thing. Oh, it's not really about us. <laughs> Come on, dancing. It'll be great, just picture it. Everyone will be putting it on Facebook, and then there'll be an Upworthy article titled, It was just your typical wedding. Then the best man and the maid of honor took to the dance floor. You won't believe what happens next. Will it be upworthyable? And you want it to be upworthyable? Okay, it was just an example, really. And upworthy is super overrated. Okay, so we're agreed. No upworthy. No upworthy. That's great. But that is progress. Progress how? We've unanimously decided no upworthy. YouTube is still on the table. Exactly. You know what? We'd make a great team. I think the two of you would make a better team. You think so?
So what song are you guys gonna dance to? Toby. Well, it's not my wedding. But if I were to pick a song, I mean, if it were me, uh, Wicked Games, Chris Isaac. I don't know that song. Hmm. Oh, you don't have to. How does it go? I wanna know how it goes. No. I wanna Stop. fall in love. Please. No, I wanna fall in love. You know, Chris Isaac. What else do you think? Okay, Evan, I need to plot this one down in front of a TV or something. You get overstimulated, you know? But you have a great night, okay? No, I can watch him. Oh, Toby's really independent. You know, I was thinking we should put some time aside to plan how we're going to handle this wedding. It's kind of our responsibility. Of course. But let's focus on this party for tonight. Make sure everyone has a good time and stays safe. And we can have a meeting to discuss wedding details later. Tomorrow, I'll bring uh, muffins. Carrot orange or cranberry pecan? Just kidding. I will bring both. Where'd your brother go? Toby? Oh, shit! Oh, this is bad. We could do hazelnuts instead of pecans. Or chocolate if it's an allergy. No, not the muffins. Toby, I need to go find him. He's like 15, he'll be fine. He's 11 and he will burn this house down. So no, we're not fine. None of us are fine. Well, hold on, we'll, we'll just Snapchat him. But, oh. oh, right, now he only knows where we are. How did you get his Snapchat? Oh, we're Facebook friends now. Oh, God. <clears throat> just put it away and help me look. That's what she said, no? Not saying. You really think he's gonna be in the cabinets? He's like a lemur. He's bendy. He fits into places just so he can jump out and scare me. Oh, yeah. I remember my younger brother doing that. Did you ever put makeup on him? No. Why? Did you? No. Well, he's not in here. I already checked there. Why would he be in the fridge? Because he's a little piece of shape. Have you seen an obnoxious little boy running around? Oh, Matt's in the basement. Toby? Oh, no clue. Would you like something to drink? What, what do you want to drink? You want some wine? I'm good. What color is your dress? Uh, it's a skirt and it's blue. No, not now. You're, you're made of honor dress. Oh! Uh, I think we're going with gray? I have a gray bow tie. <gasps> that little!